Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Amori. Um, so it's been a few days, took a little break, but that's okay. Still curious about the tone of this game and where it's going to go. All right. Turning that down on my end, sorry. I gotta like wake back up. It's uh, relatively early in the morning for me, um, but not because I like stayed up through the night and rolled all the way over into the next day. Uh, in fact, it's because I, uh, I woke up at like a reasonable hour. So that's cool. I woke up at like 8 or 9 a.m., which is very unusual for me. I've, uh, especially recently, I've been having very bad and disordered sleep, so it's good to have a normal time. So grim, man. <laughs> so, um, I wonder if this is TMI. It's probably fine. Um, I recently listened to, uh, Everywhere at the End of Time again. Uh, and I've decided that that's what I'm going to talk about this episode, so uh, buckle in. Um, there's this guy. His name is uh, Leyland James Kirby, I think. No relation to the pink fuzzball on my shelf right here. This is not who did the caretaker. This is a different man. But he's the only good man. Um... Anyway, Leyland James Kirby would, uh, used to go by the caretaker and he made music where he basically, like, he basically made vaporwave stuff for, uh, the 20s. Like, he would slow down 20s and 30 music. Nice. Style food soda. But he, uh, he made an album a bit ago called, like, Selected Memories from the Haunted Ballroom, I think. I don't know why that's there. Um, th that it, like, really hit a lot of the right tones for a lot of people. Oh. Ow, what the? Gibbs. Well, how do you know? There's a weak point on its head. Recognize one of those anywhere. Let's try throwing something at it. I'm sure that'll work. Platform Ah, oh. Tag me, I got this. Yeah. Anyway, the whole vibe of the caretaker is... Oh, that's interesting. I just... Maybe I noticed this last time as well, but... When tagging in someone... When someone else tags in Omori, it still says... It still reads you. Because you are Omori. And or Sunny. Anyway, caretaker. Oh. Hold on. Get her guy. Over. <laughs> Over. Oh, fucking god. They call me Scarethrow. I am stuck in the ground. Throw things at me and hear a strange sound. 
Yeah, he's inaccessible otherwise. Yeah, I want to see more tags. With that fun, can we get another game? Try again. Okay. The throw appears very situational. All right, let's continue on with the main path. Anywho, caretaker. Um, so, like, it started five years ago now, I think. Um, but he released an album called Everywhere at the End of Time. Uh, which was actually part one of a six-part album. And that album was an hour long. Uh, so, as the album went, the like 1920 sounds get more distorted and more reverbed and they sound further and further away and eventually they get really confusing nice tough one. like they don't even um how do i how do i put this it's best to listen to it but listening to it's very hard um they loop in on themselves they reverse uh things like that happen to them and the, the whole album, the process of it, is about having and or getting dementia. And you're listening to someone called The Caretaker. Oh, running gun. Nice. Ooh, everyone leveled. Nice. You're listening to someone presumably getting dementia. Presumably The Caretaker. Uh, which is one reason why this is not a fun album to listen to, but damn if it isn't really good. So, like, bits of earlier songs will loop in on each other. To make it extra confusing. Because that's the deal with it. It's supposed to confuse the listener. Which is an interesting thing to do, to do with the media. Let's fight Windows 97. Let's try running gun. Attack based on his speed instead of attack. Oh, interesting. I wonder if that's better. I would hope so, right? Oof, these. <laughs> so yeah, parts one through three are all like semi-normal. Um... Parts four through six are all very weird. Um, there's only a few, there's only so many songs actually sampled in uh, Everywhere at the End of Time. Wowzers. But like hearing those same songs over and over again is meant to make you like feel like that's all that you can remember. Nice. And hearing them get slower and slower and more and more distorted is like, you know, you slipping further and further into it. So, you know, it's great fun to listen to. I'm kind of getting chills describing it, though there's one heck of a rainstorm outside right now, actually. So maybe that has something to do with it. Tag 
three, right? Oh, that's interesting. Only Omori can get the keys. I guess that makes sense. Anyway, so for whatever reason, and to be honest, I'm kind of happy about it. Uh, it's kind of become an internet meme. You might think, oh, a, a depressive album about getting dementia. Why would that be an internet meme? Well, I'm glad you asked. There have been some very interesting ideas given to it. What is this? Weird. Banana smoothie. Binoculars. So, uh, there's a very extensive project uh, wherein somebody remixed every song in Minecraft in the same manner of everywhere at the end of time. Oh. Interesting. Do you want to sit here with your friends? Yeah, I do. Aww. Moon looks gigantic from here. It's the most beautiful place I've ever seen. So much litter around. How can you say it's beautiful? Don't be such a wet blanket. Look at all on the bright side. I always say, just gotta wake up and smell the roses. You don't always say that. <laughs> Fucking kid. Big old couch. Jet shark? Shark plane. That's it? I love this. His little frowny face is so cute. He's like, mm. and he's like back there. Mm. Shock. It's kind of weird that Omori has like a. It's still just so weird to me that Omori is one of the only dudes with like a real ass weapon. He's got a kitchen knife, man. Wow. Munch. Tasty. Alright, I don't think we're even gonna get here, but if we do, patch him up. So yeah, someone remixed all of the Minecraft uh, music into it with a very sobering thought that like, hey, this is what happens when Zoomers get dementia. That's what it'll sound like. Because like with every year at the end of time, it's supposed to give you false memories. Like it's supposed to somehow make you be nostalgic for... I guess we'll do this. Um, it's supposed to make you nostalgic for... Actually, wait, do I have a thing for this? 
eat snack. This is a good, this is a good investment. But yeah, uh, everywhere at the end of time is supposed to give you false memories and make you nostalgic for an era that you were never in. Nice. <laughs> but instead, I feel like showing how that would actually sound. Dial up is slow. Kel hurts himself in frustration. Interesting. Run and gun. <laughs> wow. That's big damage, man. hung on though. Damn. So yes, it's a very good album, but it is very hard to listen to. But I recommend that everyone should try it. You got ramen in the toy ew. That's just icky, man. Hero never gets the chance to cook, dude. <laughs> they shall sample my blade. But yeah, um... Ooh. As I've mentioned, uh, it was recently my birthday. Nice. Uh, my wife got me a few things, but including Death Stranding, the most recent video game by one Hideo Kojima. Uh, I'm a massive fan of that man. I think he's great, in fact. Um, wow. He might be my favorite game developer, like, in general. Hack away. That's expensive, but that's powerful. Kind of getting lost, not sure where to go. Oh, this way. Yes, of course. I'm a genius, I figured it out. A doohickey. Ooh, we got a doohickey. And a donut. Large cheese wheel. Can't even dent this thing. Hmm. Hold on a sec. It's cheese, isn't it? Well, oh, you're right. It is cheese. Okay, guys, hear me out. This might sound crazy, but what if we eat the cheese? We all start now. We can probably finish this in a couple of hours or so. It's worrying though. Cheese gets me kind of gassy. This is this plan keeps getting worse and worse. There's no need for that. Thank God. I may have the perfect solution. Tag me, Omori. I know how to handle this. You gonna make it into fondue?
EMS. Hello, friends. It's me, EMS. The humble, hungry hamster. Wow, this is all for me. What a treat. How'd you know she's my favorite? I don't have to guess, EMS. Everything is your favorite. Everyone, this is Emily the hamster, but I call her Ems. Oh, good friend of mine. You know what to do, Ems. I sure do. Be done in the chiff. Oh, man. Whoa. That's all that didn't fit in her body. It's me. I try not to think about it. That was incredibly satisfying. If you ever need of any giant cheese eating services again, you know who to call. Goodbye, friends. All right. Okay, that was weird. A sprout mole. Get it. Suffer not a sprout to live. How are we supposed to find anything in here? It's way too much junk. Wait, are we looking for something? Kafka? <laughs> Long last, I finally found it. The countless hours of digging and digging. One of a kind, ultra exclusive, special mixtape finally belongs to me. Rosa, the number one sweetheart fan in the world. With this one of a kind addition to my collection, I will finally surpass those lame poses out there. Wait. Oh no, special mixtape. Smells like doo doo. Oh no, it's. I smell like doo doo. Did she say she found a special mixtape? That's what we're looking for. Oh yeah. Let's go get it. I can hear everything you're saying, you know. Just suspected owning something so valuable is already getting me into trouble. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you jealous? Mixtape is mine. I'll never give it to you. Not now or ever. Come out here. We didn't come out here for nothing. If you don't give it to us, we'll kill you. Violence never... Violence is about to solve this, you know. Too much refined for this nonsense. Well, peon, see you never. Come back here. Hurry. After her. We can't let her live. Never catch me, stick legs. Is this going to turn into a puzzle maze? Uh can Mhm mm Oh sweet Jesus Images that make you smile. TV remote. We finally found it, Boyles. Is that a... A perfectly roasted chicken. You know, it's like... <laughs> it's like wall chicken in like a Castlevania. So you keep yourselves busy. Hope you're all having a fun adventure. If you're ever feeling weary, don't forget you can always roast up my Eldritch Picnics. Big sister is always prepared. And a computer part. Hell yeah, let's save. Oh, interesting. And it tells you who you're playing as. And I watch my calling. It's not a candy. We finally caught you. Make respect that special mixtape. What's with her? Hey, can you hear us? I wonder why she isn't responding. Let's take a closer look. Guys, come on. This is... This is the kind of bait only the biggest schmuck would fall for. I literally was like, oh, did my game crash? Oh my god. <laughs> Down <for it. laughs> All right. 
Ooh. Wow. Angori. Nice. Yeah, and then she recovers the bop, the, the bop that she took from her head button. And she's angry, so it does even more damage. 99%, huh? Let's just stab him, actually. Oh, yeah. You get headbutted. Uh, let's run and gun him. I guess just hit normally, hero. So, if that actually reaches, like, the minimum, will it... will it kill one of us? Still at 99. Let's hope. Aubrey's party was victorious. We learned twirl. Smile. Oh, that's so pleasant. What just happened? Who cares? Gotta take back that mixtape. <laughs> what in the world? Hey, it's mine. Give it back. No way. Finder keepers. Put this back in Space Boyfriend's boombox where it belongs, which means that it's not Finder's keepers. It's whoever actually owned it. Huh? Space boyfriend, you say? Oh, ho, 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 you ignorant child. Haven't you heard the latest news? I have a reputable source uh, who tells me space boyfriend and sweetheart is part of the ways. Why do you think it's in the junkyard in the first place? It's because he threw it away himself. I mean, yeah, we kind of already all figured that. Oh, that's not good. But if they aren't together anymore, how will we wake up space boyfriend now? Future the once great coalition of space pirates is. <laughs> Why does she care? <laughs> Wait just a second. How do you know you're not lying about all this? He could be just trying to get the special mixtape back. Well, I never. I may be rude and pretentious, but I'm not a liar. I think we trust you. I think we'll just keep it and see for ourselves. Now scram, you ugly parent creature. Go bother someone else. Oh my, so rude. You'll pay for this, stupid boy. Mark my words. All right. <laughs> oh, man, this game, dude. It's so fun and cheerful. How could it ever be about anything sad or unlikable? Oh. Trauma core gay Twitter femboy Undertale. <sighs> All right, I think I'm just backtracking now. Yeah, they're friends. I enjoy seeing very good friends in media. It's kind of exhausting how, like, any time any character shows any sort of friendship to another character, they're immediately shipped. It's like, man, not everyone is in love with every other person in their life. At least not romantically. Let people be platonic and friends. I have found art in an unexpected place. Let's find a wormhole. Oh, yeah. You're, uh, still empty from that boss fight. Let's just see how tough we are now. Mm -hmm. 
I'm really waiting on a boss fight for, um, that'll just, like, really damage me, so I'll have to, like, really manage my healing, but also really get to play with the bar down there. All those sound fun. Cool. Pluto, come on, buddy. <sighs> we really need it now, dude. Interesting. Lovely weather, isn't it? Hold it right there. Finally found you, Pluto. There's no escape. Oh no, my gigantic well-defined legs and arms are giving out. Can't let it in like this. Need to find a hiding place. Are you there? Please, lend me your assistance. Uh, hurry, I don't have much time. It's to hide, huh? I've got it. Got it all under control. That should do it. Shoot, they're coming. Act natural. Dang it, we lost him. We're looking for a high profile and very expensive rogue planet named Pluto. He's big, circular, grayish guy with huge bulging muscles. Kind of hard to miss. Have you seen him? Uh <laughs> No? Really? Well that's life. <laughs> Come on, dude, let's keep searching. We'll find him eventually. Coast is clear. Why was the flower pot important? Quit thinking, I'm impressed. You have my eternal gratitude. I'm here. These are my friends, Aubrey, Kel, and Amori. Fine young names for fun young people. I'm Pluto. I'm a rogue planet. A vagabond, if you will. Apologize for causing everyone trouble. But, if it'll install my purpose to act as a mere yard decoration. I want the freedom to roam the sky as I please, like the birds and the stars. If that makes me a rogue planet, then so be it. They can call me what they please, so long as I'm free to do as I please. My soul yearns for freedom. You understand, don't you, children? Kelly, are you crying? <laughs> it's raw motion. I'm touched. It was beautiful, Pluto. You said it, Kel. <laughs> Wait, you too, Aubrey. Now at long last, I am free to follow my lifelong dream of running my own trend. He's the fast travel. I'm going to call it Pluto Space Line. <laughs> Realization has reinvigorated me. Since you helped me in such a way, I must return the favor. I am Pluto of Blue Space Line now. Please pretend you have just arrived at the transportation station. Okay. Uh, hello? Pluto. Greetings from Pluto Space Line. Where would you like to go today, young travelers? <laughs> oh, is that too much? Um, let's try to turn it down. Let's try this again. No, it's okay. We'd just like to go back to the campsite, please. So I want to go to the Otherworld campsite. My first request. How exciting. Here it comes. <laughs> One ride to Otherworld Campsite coming right up. I won't let you down, young travelers. Leave the rest to me. Is everyone strapped in? Uh, hold on, I'm not ready yet. Greetings and welcome to Pluto Space Line. Where will your journey take you today? To other world? You got it. Now just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. I'll use my powers of being able to orbit things. <laughs> that was that for a smooth ride? Comfortable and vibrant and environment and relaxing music. I give it five out of five. Says you. I can't feel my arms anymore. Carol, I have to say, you did a great job holding on for dear life back there. You have the potential to be very strong. Let me teach you a skill that might be useful in the future. <clears throat> Repeat after me. 
When I flex, I feel my best. Now you try. When I flex, I feel my best. I felt amazing. I'm pumped. Could use a little work. But nevertheless, you've definitely got the power within you. Take this lesson and use it well. For all children, until next time. Hell, learn flex. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Gumbo happy. All right, uh, let's have a picnic. Oh, picnics are, they're very specific. They're like Kodak calls. Interesting. I like seeing it every time. So wait, are, is everyone looking at the, are, are the space pirates currently hunting for Pluto looking at the signs that say Pluto space line? Oh, right. Got to weave through here. I think I got all the doohickeys and marlarkey and such like, so I should be good, I think. There are only three things on that list, right? I could check right now and see if I have them. Oh, sweet. You found everything on my list. Should ask random people for favors more often. Do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And voila. Ah, that hits the spot. My old coffee machine broke like forever ago, but I've been too busy to gather the missing parts. Now that this one's all fixed up, I don't need to drink that gross instant coffee crap anymore. Here's a little sum sum for helping me out. You got dino... <laughs> that looks kind of dangerous. Yeah, no kidding. Um... Is it a toy? <laughs> Is it gonna be like dynamite in uh, uh in in Hilux where you just you pop it and it plays like actual blast sight footage? Mm. I feel like I should probably save that. Dynamite ended up being a quest item in Hylix as well, so it's probably prudent that I save it. I don't think we finished the lake, but we can go back there later. For now, we should go back to Space Boyfriend. Um, oh, I need to ask Mari for hints, actually. I don't need to, but it'll be useful. Uh, incomplete. Basil. Okay, so Basil's still missing. But we're looking for him. Captain of the Space Pirates. Hector fell out of Kel's pocket somewhere in Rapid. Okay. So those are, those are all main quest things. That is so useful. That is such a cool thing to have in there. Place used to be a wildlife preserve, but... Oh, right. I think I already read that. So I actually went back and saw in the one of the earlier episodes, you can actually find... Uh, Sweetheart's head. Oh, God. There was actually a bag that looked like Sweetheart's head in the, the room where these three all live. Next to White Space. Oh, God. Is it really going to make me... Oh, 
Oh, it's probably just an option. Since they're listed as toys, you can probably use them in combat. All right. Well, I'll be. Kids really did it. A little dirty, but that'll uh, that's our missing special mixtape for sure. Thanks a lot, my guy. Well, this will be able to wake up Space Boyfriend. Kel, reach into your pocket and check out the mixtape. Actually, about that. We might have some bad news. Heard a rumor that Space Boyfriend and Sweetheart, well, that they broke up. What? Did they really? For real this time? Oh, no, but that would mean... There's no point in playing him the mixtape anymore. All hope is lost. Your space boyfriend, we got your special mixtape back. You can at least thank us. Hmm. Don't be so down, space pirate guy. Just a rumor. And even if it's true, it's not the end of the world. People get over breakups all the time. I'm sure space boyfriend will be back on his feet soon. He needs some time to readjust. I'll blast this mixtape on his boombox. He's got to wake up to that. In that case, we should probably get rid of that special mixtape. Listening to the song might be too emotional for him. Give it here, Amori. I'll keep it safe. Here, reach into your pocket. <laughs> These fucking kids, man. <laughs> They're so dumb. <laughs> Kel, what are you doing? No! <laughs> what is this track, man? Wakey, wakey, space boy, run. Uh-oh. Got a bad feeling about this. What is that infernal racket? <laughs> Yo! Darn it, Kel, look what you did. <laughs> Bear me before I've awakened. One second. He's gonna put on his scary boss theme. <laughs> Much better. The web was I, yes. Foolish children, I must thank you for bringing me out of that pathetic state. I grew tired of lying in bed pretending to be sick, like I always say. Feelings are for losers. That wench sweetheart is going to pay for leaving me. Did everything for her, I gave everything to her. Everything, you hear me? A grateful little... <laughs> Just forget it, forget everything. I'm going to find sweetheart, I'm going to make her pay. Sorry, but we can't let you do that, Space Boyfriend. Or should I say, Space X Boyfriend? <laughs> Interesting. You want to challenge me? Oh, his name got changed. Do you even know who I am? I'm Captain of the Space Pirates! I control the planets in the solar system and have the ability to fly through space at will. The power of the entire universe is at my command. Blah, blah, blah. Talk all you want. We're not scared of you. Power going around Cousin Chubb, you're going to have to get through us first. So, that's how it's going to be. If you insist on stopping me, I'm afraid we'll have to settle this the hard way. Take all of you on! Fight me, earthly scum. We're watching you, scum. Oh my god, his design is so cool! He looks like Harlock! Crap, I didn't put new things on. Wistfully into the distance. This track is fantastic. Now I can stat. Mm. 
right in the heart, which is in his stomach, I guess. He sings sadly. Aubrey feels sad. No! Hmm. Wow. A lot of numbers. Can I give better than a cold dog? Yeah. I really wish I would have put on better moves. My rage cannot be contained. You cannot placate me. Can't become happy or sad. Yeah. Get him. Shoot. Chocolate? Oh, it's baking chocolate. That's that's really funny. Circular bread with a hole in it. Nine out of ten dentists hate it. It's a lot of so <laughs> That's a lot of sodium. From France, wherever that is. Uh, Omori needs some juice. Wails loudly. Ooh, that's a big damage. Omori mocks. Wow. Is Omori a toxic friend? Gah, how are you still moving? I won't let you defeat me. He became enraged. Keep bonking your head into him. Hmm. Who'd invent this? I'm really curious about Omori, man. Get him. Now let's just let's get crazy, man. Out of my way, earthly scum. It's your last chance. Fear. Oh. Damn. Damn. 
That'll be risky. That's a really useful ability, man. Oh, well, that's nice. Um, you're starting to run low on juice, so you should... Yeah, you should pick up Aubrey. And then you should... Yourself is probably more important than you are. Well, nice. My heart, it hurts. <laughs> Bread, man. Eye patch, curveball. See, space boyfriend. What happened? Where am I? Who are you? Hey, how are you feeling? Captain Space Boy. Oh, hello, I'm Captain Space Boy. Pleasure to meet you. Ow, my chest. Are you okay? Got a little angry earlier, so we had to... Uh... Oh, I see. My other... My other half must have gotten the better of me. I must apologize. Your actions were likely well justified. I just hope I didn't cause you all too much trouble. Having a hard time controlling my emotions lately. Try my best to keep him at bay, but it's becoming much more difficult. Sweetheart. She lived my life. Almost impossible for me to imagine life apart from her. Guess I'm a bit lost. The special mixtape is full of mine and Sweetheart's favorite songs. I put so much love into making this for her. Thank you for returning it to me. It's still full of precious memories, after all. That's sweet, man. That's no problem. Well, not too much, anyway. Here, we're glad to help. Let's go ahead and get some rest. Afraid no amount of rest can truly heal a broken heart. I must find another way to get over this. Captain Space... I mean, Space Boyfriend. So, 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 so sorry, but we have very terrible news. Pluto has escaped. We can't find him anywhere. Don't be mad at us. We're really sorry. Please be gentle. I see. It's okay, you two. I'm sure even the planets get bored of turning slowly all day. Perhaps Pluto was never meant to be a planet. Pluto never should have been a planet, says Randall Monroe. But you know what? What's that guy's name? Claudius Claude Claude Tomba. He did the work, man. So you're not angry at us? Do you mean it, space boyfriend? I sure do. Gather the rest of the crew. Let's go to the frozen lake and get some snow cones. Resting in bed might not fix a broken heart, but eating snow cones with friends might help. Also, you don't have to call me space boyfriend anymore. I'm Captain Space Boy. What does this mean? Woohoo! Captain's back! Can't wait to tell everyone! Let's go, dude. We're right behind you, buddy. Hell yeah. Can't thank you enough for what you've done. Who knows what would happen to me and my crew if you all didn't show up? Oh, I was nothing. I'm just glad you're feeling like yourself again. Yeah, my thanks. You never need anything from me or the space pirates, so don't hesitate to ask. Actually, I can't believe I forgot about this. We're actually looking for our friend Basil. He wears a flower crown and always carries a full album with him. Have you seen him? I'm afraid I haven't. I looked everywhere. But if I do see anything, you'll be the first to know. Basil, where could he have gone? Ah, uh, please don't cry, little lady. Here, take this. Uh-oh. Please, little lady, don't cry. Uh, here, take this, too. I love his little head and his little ears. You got a train pass. I used it to travel around on trains when I was a child, long before I became a space captain. If even I can go on traveling from traveling on trains to flying my own spaceship, you'll be able to find your friend. Oh, okay. Hey, Cap, ready to go? Everyone's waiting. Yes. Hold on, I'm coming. You must keep your hopes up, little lady. If it gets too hard to bear, try eating a snow cone. It might make things a little easier. 
Let's keep crew waiting. Good luck with everything and thank you again. That was nice. Everyone's follow-up moves improved. Oh! We've got, what is that, E or F? It's so austere. Nine keys left. Are those footprints always there? I hate this game, man. This game feels like a creepypasta game, dude. Hello, everyone. How's the search room going? Well, Mari seems to take a little detour, trying to help those in need. Look, I got a snow cone ticket. Oh, it's cute. It's very nice. Thanks. Look what I can do. That's very nice too, Kel. Isn't it? It's so strange. We search all over the place. We haven't seen a hint of him anywhere. Oh, Basil. I wonder where you could have gone. Do you have any leads, Omori? She looks right at the camera. Is that picking up on the mic? The cracking, I mean. All right. Um, twirl. Aubrey attacks the phone, becomes happy. Interesting. And you've got. Oops. Smile. X first, reducing foes attack. Interesting. I mean, that's an hour of footage right there. Um, and that's Omori, everyone. Captain Space Boy's back on track. Uh, Space Pirates are too, and we have a we have a dead end. So I imagine uh, at the start of next part, we're gonna have like a big ass smoking gun or something we find. But until then, uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Omori. And I am waiting for the other shoe of this game to drop so hard. <sighs> All right. See you guys later. Bye-bye.